Alrighty, welcome. This is so exciting. We finally got the new Super 73s here in Sydney, and I w this is a really quick video to show you how to unbox. It's gonna be high level, it's gonna be quick, uh, but you need to take time and listen before you get your bike delivered so you know what to do. So let's check it out. Uh, we've got Omar here, he's gonna help us unbox it. So, you'll notice this thing is very heavy, 50 kilograms. It does say heavy AF. I think that means heavy as Frank. Anyway, it's, it's heavy. So when it arrives, try to get someone else to help you lift it. There's handles all around um, and take it easy. All right, Emma, let's do it. So first thing is you cut that. Now this box is a bit different to the SG-1. It's got little unclip things down here you need to unclip. All right, and with those out of the way, then you can get someone to help you lift it up and reveal the bike. Whoa! We'll chuck it up here, Emmett. Now this is the RXG Olive. Very cool. Okay, so we'll make another video later to show you how to fine tune things like the braking and the suspension, but right now this is just about unboxing and how to do it safely and easily. All right, so let's go for it, Emma. Got the... Um Charger and pedals here. Put that to the side. Down here we've got to remove the I call it like the ramp. Open that up. This drops down. And then we just wheel it out. The other thing we'll show at the end of the video is the different colours that are available in these new bikes. So stay tuned for that. Alright, um, All right, so I'll jump in and help Omar with some of the unpacking of the, the protective plastics. Um, and we can just chat a little bit too about, well, of course you wanna, it's very exciting, but you wanna also take your time, be careful not to scratch or cut anything. Um, now the, the bike comes with an app. So when you get a minute, jump onto the app store for your Android or the iPhone and download the Super 73 app. It's one word, Super 73 with no, no spacing in there. And how do you normally take this wrapping off, Amy? What do you normally do for this? I just take this one off first. And then this one, just rip it. So you tear it like that, do you? Yeah. And then you... And then you slide it off. Slide it out from underneath. Yeah. Right, okay. And as we're not using scissors on that seat, because you don't want to cut that. And then you want to grab these cable tie here and just snip that. Carefully not to snip any brake lines. Okay, so when your app is downloaded on your phone, you can turn the bike on, right? At this point, Emma. Yes. Is that right? You can turn the bike on, and then you can, and then you can pair the bike with the app. And then once you've paired the bike with the app, it's a good idea to go through the menu to update the firmware. So let me do that now. So let's see. Video. I'm actually already paired with another bike, so what I can do is I can unpair this vehicle. Uh, unpair my other vehicle and then I can tap to pair the vehicle and I can see there's a new vehicle here and I'll click on that okay it's paired pair that vehicle nice and then you go into vehicle and a notice will come up to say update the firmware and then you just pick, click on the button to say update firmware and then that firmware can be updating um, while Omar's unpacking the bike. The other thing too is that the bikes come with about half charge. They come with half charge at the moment. Yep. Um, so before you jump on it and start riding, it's a good idea to charge up to full power. Now, also read the manual. Right, okay, take a deep breath and read the manual. It is a bit of a manual, it's chunky, uh, but it's worth going through the manual. It does say really important things about how to take care of your battery. Things like don't leave it on charge for over 48 hours, only ever charge big batteries under supervision, i.e. don't leave them overnight while everyone's asleep in the house in case there's any external electrical faults and things like that. So uh, the battery charge will be red while it's charging and then it'll green when it's finished, so just take it off at that point in time. Um, lithium batteries don't have any memory, so you can charge them at any time uh, after your ride. So even if it's, you've only used it for 10 minutes, you can stick it on charge again. 
You just don't leave them for long periods of time with no charge because then they can go into a deep discharge and you don't want to leave them for long periods of time with, with full charge either. So if you are going to go on a three month holiday at some point, just leave the battery at half charge. Uh, but again, read the manual, it has it all in there for you. So, all right, with all that packing off, um, what's the app doing? It's still 71% updating. I'm just going to chuck the handlebars on. So how do you do that, Omar? Yep, so come up to the top here, there are four screws that you need to uh, unscrew. Anyone that has a SG-1 in the past, it's similar installation of the handlebars. This one, there's a lot of wiring, so all the wires get fed behind the fairing. Put it down, up. Thank you. And then someone else can help. It goes like that, does it? Yes, Super 73. We'll be facing here. Facing and the then rider. This one have the same amount of tread on each side, just so you know it's roughly in the middle there. And then you screw them in in a zigzag pattern. Yes. So, yeah. And also, at this point, it can be handy to be sitting on the bike uh, so you can decide what, what position the handlebars for most comfortable for you as a rider. All right, thanks for that, Emma. And I've just got a notification to say that the firmware has been updated, so that's good. Um, the app is so cool. You can um, change the pedal assist mode from in the app, or you can also change it on this device here. So if you come in close, I'll show you there. You've got an up arrow there to go through the pedal assist modes and down through the pedal assist modes. And then to put the light on, you just hold down the top mode and that light will come on there. And then hold it down again to turn it off. Alrighty, and the on off button is, is very simple. It's just a one press here. One press to go off and then one press to go on. And you'll notice the Behind that bit, I didn't get it right. Behind here is your charge point. Nice and sticky so no dust gets in there. And just make sure it's all sealed flat. There you go. Now, in the app, you, when you go into a vehicle, it'll be set to mode one. So mode one is what we need in Australia for the bikes to be road legal. So it will restrict the motor power to 250 watts and it'll have a top speed of uh, 25 k's per hour under power. Now, it does have four modes. So when you get onto private property, you can put it in mode three for the highest level of pedal assist, uh, which will take up to 45 k's per hour. Um, again, that's not legal on Australian roads or bike paths. So if you do want to abide by law, keep it in mode one. Now it's worth noting that every mode has those four levels of pedal assist. So it can be a bit confusing, but within each mode, um, you can cycle through the amount of uh, pedal assist that the bike gives you. Alrighty, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments about that. Uh, happy to help. All right, what's next, Omar? Now uh, we put the handlebars on. Yep, so after the handlebars on, we go into this accessories box. In here, you'll see your uh, user manual. As Ben said, please read, it's quite informative. Inside here, you'll see your pedals. Uh, these yellow little clips are actually for your um, brake pads when you are changing. You slip them in so they don't close it on you, so they're quite handy. Um, and then they give you some small tools but we want to get the pedals out and we'll show you how to do that now. Yep. I might also point out too that look if, you, if you're not bike savvy and you do need some help just ask we're here to help you and also you can actually ask for a mobile bike mechanic to come to you we do know we have access to bike mechanics in various parts of Australia so just shout out if you need help or if you're not really that comfortable. Okay right, cool. Back to the pedals um, they are um, directional so you got left and your right there is a small L and small R it's too small my little trick is that you'll see the actual bolts are different so the one that has the lines are for the left hand side of the bike and the smooth side is for the right hand side so to find that out sorry about that uh, Ospost just turned up what have you done there, Omar? Sorry, mate. So, uh, they are washers that need to go onto the pedals. They are actually zip-tied to the pedals. So, you snip it off and one for each pedal. So, um, put one there so you put it this way. There's a shiny side. Shiny side goes... Um, against the pedal? Against the pedal. And then you just... 
start going in. But now be very careful, take your time with this because some customers have cross-threaded these threads so, before. Alright, All right, so here's an important point. I thought that it'd be easy to do it with your fingers but apparently not. You have to apply pressure that way on the pedal and then um, use that tool to, to, get, to screw it in at the same time. Looking perpendicular with the crank arm, that looks to be going in. So that's another neat little trick there. And notice that the washer needs to go inside the crank arm. So that's how you'd want to have it finished. And just make sure it's nice and hand tight so that, that pedal's not going to come flying off. Alrighty, so that's pretty much done. Then you can just take the nice little plastic off, put that in the bin, and then it's time to inflate the tires. So you can use a bicycle pump or a little electric pump. Um, just take your time with inflating the tires, don't, don't go too crazy <laughs> with um, the huge truck compressors. But now notice guys that notice everyone ladies and gentlemen that it does have 10 speed gears so this is one of the things that uh, stands out is different from the American models they come with 10 speed gears by default and this is a massive help when it comes to the pedal assist the other cool thing about the bikes in Australia is that they're coming with this Magura brakes which are made for electric bikes they're made for going at, at much higher speeds and you've got um, disc pads in there that are designed for the braking of electric bikes so they're designed to uh, stop you at much higher speeds so very very cool stuff um, so when you are going up hills be kind to the motor use the gears as much as possible uh, to, to support that motor because um, that'll give you the most life out of the motor and the battery as well so there's a good tip there look when you are riding on the bike um, it's very dangerous to hold your phone and ride at the same time so Grab a phone holder, we've got them here at Ben Buckle Boards, I think they're 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, and you can put your phone there, and then you can use it for navigation and for listening to music if you want to. So these keys coming to the bike, these are so important. They're like the only two keys in the world that are gonna unlock your battery. So it's a good idea uh, to put them somewhere safe. We'll give you a key ring. When you unlock it, the battery slips off, and then you can take the battery away for charging in your apartment or um, storage uh, for security reasons and take it with you if you wanted to make your bike, lock up your bike a bit more secure. Alrighty, so you may notice some loose wires. This is for future accessories that are going to be coming. So the, these are for the blinkers, and this is for the throttle. So when that throttle comes, uh, we'll be sending them out to everybody. Um, yeah, again, apologies that the throttles didn't come with this shipment of bikes. Look, you can hold off on, on getting your bike if you want and wait for the throttle to come, but look, the throttle's gonna be pretty easy to install. Just install there and you just plug it into there. And again, that's for private property only. So, yeah, um, we're looking forward to the uh, accessories coming in as well. We just don't have clear timing on that at the moment, but they are coming. Blinkers indicators are gonna be awesome because I noticed if um, you are traveling, um, at higher speeds it, it does become a bit uh, difficult to take a hand off the handlebars and, and indicate with, with your arms so that can become a little bit dangerous so just keep a very low speed um, until some of these accessories come in and uh, you can use it on private property all right so spare parts haven't arrived yet either but that's okay we'll, we'll have some we've got some here uh, but just so that i'm just saying like, don't go too crazy on your bike don't go you know jumping off two flights of stairs just yet all right because we don't have all the spare parts with us but they're coming so because these are the european bikes they've come in with the front brake on the left in australia the standard is to have the front brake on uh, on the right in australia the standard is to have the rear brake on the left uh, so these are reversed around but they're dead easy to swap them over you can see these with the, these Magura brakes it's just uh, two screws here and two screws there so you just undo them flip them over they're reversible uh, don't ever undo this part here because this is a closed unit of hydraulic it's got oil in there so make sure you don't touch that because if you leak oil your brakes won't work properly new tires um, can be slippery you need to wear them in okay because when they in the manufacturing process new tires can have a little bit of oil on them so i know it's exciting but when you jump on your bike don't go smashing around corners super fast because that front can slip away from you when it's new just make sure you take it easy in the beginning and wear those tires in uh, so they get grippier over time so yeah again riding safely around town 
it's up to you guys to set a good example. Please set a good example. Don't hit anybody, don't run into anything. Take your time for now, okay? These are big bikes. Um, you may get some looks. Um, so you want to set a good example and show that we're behaving properly and with decency. Yeah. All right, so when riding a bicycle, it's important to wear safety gear. So I know it's exciting, but don't forget your helmet. Chuck a bicycle helmet on, approved by Australian safety standards. Uh, when you are on your private property and if you are going faster than 25 k's per hour, you know, there's a big difference between traveling at 20 k's and 45 k's an hour, right? So um, when you come off at 45 k's now, it's really gonna hurt. So consider wearing some motocross gear, whether it be a full face helmet or you know, uh, more, more cover for, for your arms and legs there um, and, and take it easy. Don't go in to cover his ears because um, it's pretty loud, but let me show you the horn. Okay, is it ready? All right. All right, sorry about that. Um, it's a great horn, right? It's great for like saying to, hey, trucks, please leave me alone um, because it's nice and loud on the road, but it's not fantastic for when there's pedestrians innocently walking in your way on the shared cycle path. You know, it could freak some people out, could even give someone a heart attack. So don't use that horn to scare pedestrians off, please. Get a small bell and do a tingling to move the pedestrians, but then if a truck is causing an issue, then you can do that. <laughs> My God. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot to take in. Uh, we've had a lot of fun making this video. It was short and sharp, and I'm sorry if we missed something. There's just a lot going on. We're trying to get these bikes out as fast as possible, but also try to make sure that you're prepared for when you do get the bike. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, stay tuned for the next video when we give you riding tips uh, on how to ride the bikes, because these bikes do behave a little bit more like a motorcycle. Um, so yeah, you've got to take care and, and learn and uh, we'll be in touch with some more videos. Thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah, that, that takeoff was really slow because I was in mode one. <laughs> Future accessories that are coming, as well as that. That's a wall on the <laughs> Did your head, is he hurt?